Hey there, high school sports fans. I'm Jonathan Horowitz, and welcome to our final edition of 2018 here on the Colorado Prep Spotlight, where we shine the spotlight on the best stories and matchups from around Colorado high school sports. Thank you. I'm at beautiful Platinum Farms in Franktown to introduce you to a two sport star. And it's quite a unique combination of sports. How about lacrosse and eventing? Thank you, Jason. Smoky Hill High School has been a major player on the Colorado State level in boys soccer and boys track. And this year, the boys basketball team was a title contender. Well, now the Buffaloes football team is starting to make some noise. Well, Joe, it's fascinating that the top two from the Lucas Classic, some of their biggest wins came in the United Arab Emirates, and that segues now to the president of the United Arab Emirates Cup, a premier race for Arabian race horses, and you have the defending champion in Quick and Rich, who's peaking at the right time, but the horse of 2018 for Arabian racing has been number one, Quicksand AA, and he's undefeated in 2018 with four wins, three of them in grade one races. Boxing is often called the sweet science and the sounds you hear in the gym are the sports symphony. I'm at the USA Boxing Facilities at the United States Olympic headquarters in Colorado Springs to introduce you to the three American boxers that have come to Colorado to train for and represent the stars and stripes at the 2018 Youth Olympics in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Five years ago, Ronnie Harrell Jr. helped lead Denver East to a Colorado State boys basketball title. Then he went to play college basketball at Creighton, making the NCAA tournament. This year, he's returned to Denver, playing back in his hometown and playing for family with Coach Rodney Billups' squad. And when a player from Aurora Public Schools crosses into the end zone, the stage will be even bigger because of some state-of-the-art renovations at the 50-year-old stadium and he's trained many a champion trainer, best horse he's ever had. You heard it right here, the jockey, Sasha Risenhoover. What were your tactics in the race? It was a fight when you rode him at Santa Anita, but man, he left no doubt here. All right, let's go to some highlights from the week, starting with a big one over at Smoky Hill High School, as the Buffs welcomed in a talented Regis Jesuit squad. The holidays are upon us, and so is the Christmas spirit at Smoky Hill High School. Mech goes to the free throw line, pulls up, high arcing shot off the back iron, no good. Nelson offensive rebound, missed the putback, gets it back, throws it up off balance. Grit will come down with it, and Denver will set up shop again. Grit dribbles left-handed, kicks it to Lovin. Lovin picks up her dribble, hands it back to Grit. Grit motioning. And Lovin comes back out to receive the pass, goes to the lane, shoots it left-handed, and knocks it down. Some tight defense by the Bonnies, but the Pioneers able to work through it with the first basket of the third quarter, courtesy of Lauren Lovin. Johnson dribbling against Nelson to the hoop, and Nelson blocks it from behind. Romanowski up to Nelson. She had the defense, she has the offense, and there it is for Madison Nelson. Attention fans, are you thirsty for the Pepsi Denver starting lineup? Pioneer Nation introducing your Denver Pioneers. At guard, a 6'5 junior from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Number zero, Ajay Murky! I'll let you guess who usually does better. For Colorado Press Spotlight, I'm Jonathan Horowitz.